Howdy hey, I'm Ray and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be kicking off a brand new series that I'm going to be calling Trans Tips. And for the first video, I want to do a casual trans girl makeup tutorial. Basically all of the essential items that you may want to use to do everyday makeup and how and why I do what I do personally with them. So yeah, for those of y'all that don't know me, I am Peachy or Ray. I have been doing cosplay and like gender questions for way 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 longer. I did a YouTube tutorial a little while back, almost two years ago at this point. That was a long time ago and I've learned a lot of new stuff. I have a lot of new techniques and I've come out since then as well. So I just kind of want to rebrand that tutorial a little bit, give y'all some more new and current information that I have. And without further ado, let's start getting into the video. So to start off the tutorial, I'm going to be giving y'all a bit of a shopping list in terms of what y'all can pick up from either Amazon. I'm going to leave affiliate links down below if y'all want to use those. Also, a lot of these can be found at simple drugstores like Walmart, Target, or whatever the equivalent for that may be wherever you are. It should be fairly easy to find these items and I'll kind of let y'all know a little bit more about them as I pull each of them up. So for the first items I'm going to be using, I have a foundation and I have a concealer. The main purpose of these two items is to level out your skin tone and kind of help conceal some of those discolorations of the skin. That's what these items are going to be mainly used for. The next items I'm going to be showing off are moisturizers and primers. The main purpose of these is to more prep your skin for the makeup you're going to be putting on, especially if it's everyday makeup that you're going to be wearing all day. You want to make sure that it's one, comfy, but also that the makeup doesn't smear or start to melt, cake up or crease. Having a well moisturized skin before you start layering your makeup will help a ton when it comes to that. The next items I'm going to be showing off are palettes. These are a few different types of palettes. I have a peach palette which is very on brand but I'll go over why I have these specific colors. I have a contouring palette and then I have a blush here that will be used obviously you know, for blush. Next two items are going to be eye related makeup items. I have a eyeliner here and a mascara here. I'll go a bit more into depth with them. Both of these are cheap drugstore items. I've used these basically since I've started and I've been more than happy with them. These next three items are kind of miscellaneous items that I personally use but you may not really need in your everyday makeup so they're kind of extras. These are a eyebrow pencil to help fill in your brows a little bit. I have a freckle paint thing and then I have a little highlighter palette here that I absolutely love using. Using. Next up, I have some setting products. Again, going back to the moisturizers and primers, it is important to have a good base, but it is also good to have a good seal to promote that long wear that you would want from everyday makeup. So let's get right into putting makeup on the face. Let's zoom in. To start off, this is my face without makeup. The only thing that I've done is I have shaved, clean shaven, and I have already applied my moisturizer as well. So my skin is already well hydrated. You can see it's a little shiny. It's important to use, you know, general skincare. The first thing I'm going to be putting on is this primer. Wherever I'm going to be layering makeup the most is where I'm going to be putting primer. I'm going to put some underneath my eyes. I'm going to be putting a little bit more along my upper and lower lip area and I'm going to be putting more along my chin as well. So the primer is now on. We have a nice surface for your skin to work off of. If you don't have access to a primer, that's fine. Primer is one of the less important items, but it makes a world of difference in having that smooth, non-cakey makeup look. So next, I'm going to start out with my foundation. This is the NARS uh, foundation, and I like to take the back of my wrist and do about just one pump. It's not a lot. It's a very little amount of makeup and I just kind of blow on it, spread it out like that. And if you want to let it sit here, you can. And I have this brush here. I, I use about, what is it? One, two, three, four total brushes to do my makeup. It's not a lot. You can buy them individually or buy a set, whatever floats your boat. Um, this brush is kind of my dedicated foundation brush. It's, it's a pretty big brush, nothing really too special. I'm just going to take a little bit of product off and I'm going to first apply it around kind of where a beard shadow may appear and that's gonna help level out that skin tone. And I'm gonna put it under my neck as well. Especially shaving, you may get some red bumps 
when it comes to, you know, just after mass shaving, right? So that can kind of help level out those bluer areas from where you were shaving. And I'm going to put some under my eyes as well. Uh, just a little bit. I'm, I'm going to use like the tip of the brush here instead. And I'm going to first kind of spread it out before I blend it out. I want a lot less product in this area, just enough to kind of brighten up the area. And if you want a more controlled spread with this as well, you can, instead of doing a pump, you can use your concealer here as well, but the concealer is a little bit easier to control. I have a little bit extra product, so I'm gonna be putting it on my neck just to get a little more coverage there. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and make sure, just so I don't smear it anywhere, I'm gonna take this makeup wipe, and this is gonna be for any mistakes or oopsies while we are doing our makeup, I'm gonna make sure just to wipe off the back of my hand where I had put that so it's all clean and I don't accidentally push it or smear it on clothes. The next step I like to do is contour. I don't do as much contour whenever I'm doing casual makeup just because simpler is way better and it helps you kind of learn those essentials, right? So I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker color and I'm personally gonna put it around my jaw line because if you can see if I like poke it out I have a very squared off traditional jawline and although HRT has kind of helped smooth that a little bit putting a little bit of that darker color and then kind of swirling and blending it out in the corner here can kind of help soften up that corner and especially looking on it from head on it can kind of help make that area look a bit rounder than it really is and you don't need a ton just enough to make it look like it's a shadow. That's the goal with contour. So when it comes to contour, you may have heard of the rule of threes, and that is the pattern of making a three on your face. A little bit there, a little bit there. So you're gonna wanna do this top part as well, and that'll kinda continue that three shape here. And personally, I know I don't have it the worst out there, but I do have a little bit of hairline receding here. And one thing you can kind of do to help fix that is pack in some of this darker color. Whenever you lay your hair on top of it, it can help it blend in just a little more. So I do that and then I kind of do it around the hairline here and then I swirl on the hairline. You don't want to move too far into your forehead but you do kind of want to blend it out just a little bit here. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Here we go. So this is contour done. We have the three pattern here, right? Next up, I'm going to move on to eye makeup. I personally like going for K-Beauty. K-Beauty stars like to use this. And it's also very common in Japan and stuff as well with that kind of like doughy big eye look, you know? I think it's very cute. I really like it and I personally have really big eyes so it kind of fits that for me. Also, this peach palette has a lot of color correcting tones which I will get into in a sec. It's not only very on brand but ColourPop, I personally really like the company. I use a lot of ColourPop stuff. I'll have a lot of my items linked in the description by the way. A lot of these items here, specifically this palette, can be found at Target now. Target actually sells this specific palette. So with this palette, I personally like to use these three colors here, reflective colors here that I can use on the inside of the eye if I'm doing a bit more glam, but I'm going to take my blush brush here. You want to have different brushes for a lot of things just so the colors don't blend too much. And I'm going to start off with the lightest one, which is Gal Pal up here. I'm going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to kind of pack it under my eye. Very light at first. Remember, you can always go back and you can add a little bit more. And then I also like to take this Gal Pal color. It is a nice light orange. And I'm gonna be doing very light color correcting here. However, I will. I plan to do a how to cover five o'clock shadow tutorial in the future for trans tips. So definitely um, follow, hit notification for that in the future. But for now, I'm gonna show you that just with this orange color, you can kind of lightly pack it in in this area that you may have some of those colors come through. And it's such a subtle orange that really it doesn't stand out too much, but it can help delay that five o'clock shadow look. So that kind of helps conceal any potential bluish colors with the red orangey hue. Next, I'm gonna move down to this Get Cheek color, and I'm gonna put this more on the inner corner on each of my eye, and I'm gonna blend it out into like this area.
It can look pretty strong at first, but don't be, don't be put off by it. Blend all that out like that. And this kind of just, it kind of just, it, it acts almost as a blush. Like it blends into your blush. I'm going to still do blush later. So this bottom area will be more pinky than orange, but it'll go orange as you get up. And the, the good part is that if you have under eye bags as well, using this orangey peachy color can kind of help hide it as well because again, the same as we're counteracting those blue colors down here with the orange, the blue colors of your under eyes can also be counteracted by this color. And I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna put very little on this palette in the inner corner and we're gonna blend it out, but I'm gonna blend it like just in its own area. I don't wanna move this one too far out, just like that. I personally like to do this because I, you may have noticed I'm, I've been avoiding this inner area of my eye here. And that's because I like to keep this area a bit more open. It helps personally like my, make my eyes a little bit bigger. So I like to put two concealer dots in the corner here. And just like how I use the concealer down here to kind of blend that color out a bit, I'm going to do the same thing here. And that will help lighten up this inner corner. Like that. Can you see the difference? Like it's a lot more skin tone here, whereas the orange here is coming way further. So that little drop of concealer goes a long way to helping the blend of the makeup a lot more. And that's about all I'm gonna do with this palette personally. And I'm gonna come over here. This is my little Sailor Moon Color Pop as well. It's their little Color Pop collab. I really like this blush. It has a little bit of glitter in it. So you know, makes you shine a little bit. I think it's very cute. And I'm gonna take this and I do it kind of diagonally from the eye, kind of where we started this one. And I'm going to kind of swirl it in and I'm gonna push it down. So I'm gonna kind of go starting where we had the orange and blend it out and down this way. And that's gonna be our blush. I don't know if you can tell the difference between it too much. Blush, no blush. Do the same thing on this side, like that. And that's all I'm gonna do for blush. This next step, I'm gonna be using this little freckle maker. And as you can tell, I have natural freckles and they actually go all the way out here. However, putting makeup over these areas can kind of hide that a bit. And I like to personally bring them back with this little thing. It's almost like a little paint. And when you first dab it on, it looks a lot darker than it's actually gonna be. But your goal is just to make some random dots. And then you take your finger and you just tap and it like picks up the pigment and you can kind of carry it and put it down in other places and you make a lot more of those like natural looking dots, just like that. And that already brings them back a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. There we go. That's basically where I'm gonna keep it and they still look very, very natural, but I kind of brought them up to the top again so you can see them more. And I'm gonna zoom out here for a sec. This is basically the base makeup look. I still obviously have eyeliner and such to do, but when it comes to every type of powder and cream that I'm really gonna be applying, I'm kind of done and it's time for me to set everything. So I'm gonna use both this setting powder here and this setting spray, but I'm gonna use them in different areas. So setting powder is very good for making sure makeup doesn't smear onto clothing. So personally, especially since we use some of those orange and darker colors down here on the chin, I wanna make sure I put this powder in those areas that maybe clothing might rub on a little bit and you don't want it's a smear and it gets so much lighter, but still keeps that color. And I'm gonna do a little bit more here, just like that. And that, that helps pack in those areas and make sure that if you're taking a hoodie or a shirt on and off, you're not gonna smear makeup in those areas. I also have this MAC fixative here. MAC sent me this a little while back and I've just been using it because I have it, but really any fixative spray will do. I'm going to just hold this a good distance away. This is like as far as I can hold it. Close your eyes. Do a few sprays until you feel the mist all over your face. And we're just gonna let that sit for a second and dry. Once it's totally dry, you're good to start putting other things on top of it. You're, you'll be good to go. So just let that fully dry until you don't feel it anymore. And that's where we will pick up. So to pick things back up, I am gonna start with eye makeup. Eye makeup can be very daunting, but I'm gonna help you the best I can. So let's get started. All right, I personally recommend starting with eyeliner first, uh, just in case you mess up and you wanna redo anything. I have this um, NYX Professional Makeup 
Epic Ink Liner. It is a felt tip liner. Here, let me see if I can make it focus on this. Oh yeah, there we go. I love these. It is like using a marker. I'm an artist, so it lets me have a lot more control over it, which I really like. My goal is not to go super big. I tend to like it looking like an extra little lash piece here, right? I want it to look like an extension of a lash, like a thicker, bigger end of a lash. If you look at K-Beauty and J-Beauty, you'll see they go after that anime look a lot. And one thing you notice about anime characters is they have really thick eyelashes towards the back. And as it goes towards the inner of the eye, they get a lot smaller. And that's what I try to recreate through eyeliner and mascara. I'm going to follow this kind of inner, see this bottom thing in my eye. You want to keep your eye open, by the way, doing this. I know it's really hard to keep your eye open but when you're looking at someone with your eyes open you want the eyeliner to look correct so if you do it when your eyes are closed when you open your eye it's gonna change how it looks completely if you connect this little line here from your eye that goes up and it should line up with your eyebrow arch here so there is kind of this invisible line here between your eye and your eyebrow and that's kind of what I follow to start so I'm gonna come We're going to make that bottom line here. Our goal is to kind of finish out that wing in a straight line here. So our new goal, now that we have this line, we're going to try to connect it towards either the middle, like if you're looking straight forward, right? And I want the point to be stronger, so I'm going to do it from this corner. Just like so. Now that your eye is open and you kind of know where that line is going, you can close it now, right? And you can see it looks totally different. You would not think that this is what your wing eyeliner would look like when your eyes are closed, but it does. It is very hard for me to fill this in and do this in the camera. That's filled in a little more. I'm actually gonna go off camera for a second, fill it in a little better. So there we go. That is basically filled in. It's not perfect, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect every day. That's really all I do. I do a very simple wing every day just to kind of help make the edge of the eye a little bigger. If you want to do something extra, I'll do it for this. I like to then follow this line down, but only for a little bit. So I'm going to go like right here and I'm going to go up. Once you have this line, you don't want to do it from the base here. I go up just a tiny bit and I connect these two points. Just like that and that kind of helps give that anime cornered eye look right for the sake of time i'm going to duplicate this on the other eye but it's the exact same process i think this one actually turned out a little bit better but, you know at a distance you can't really tell the difference between them too much so now we're going to move on to mascara and this is way easier trust me eyeliner is the hardest thing you'll learn how to do and once you master it you will be so good at it i promise so again going with that bigger on the outside thinner on the inside. I try to keep mascara from here to here. So I start out back here and I'm gonna blink and roll the eyelashes obviously through. So here we go. Just like that. We're gonna do those outer ones on the top like that and I'm gonna do these bottom lashes as well and for the bottom lashes I really just do these outer corners here I don't go too in-depth with it if you kind of pinch it a little bit the pinch your eyelashes while the mascara is still a little wet you can kind of make these little peaks which I think are really cute so this is basically all of our eye makeup done we have darkened and extended the end of our lashes here we have done our eyeliner to kind of help this look a little bit you know more anime a little more bigger a little more open and um that's really all I do for everyday eye makeup. It's super cute, but also super simple. The hardest part of this look is honestly eyeliner. So practice, 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 and you'll get it. I promise, I promise. And I will say that eyeliner and eyelashes are one of the biggest things to help you look more feminine. So taking time and learning those areas can help your feminization of your face a lot. And another thing that can really help is the eyebrow. Now, I didn't mention this earlier in the supply list, but you can either go to a salon and have them tweeze your brows for you. And I kind of keep up with it with my own tweezers myself, little ice bear tweezers. You can kind of keep up with it that way. So you don't have to keep buying and keep paying for someone to do it for you. Then you take an eyebrow pencil. This one is from NYX. It is a micro brow pencil. I have this end of it, which is the drawing end. 
And then there's another end, which is a little brush. And this brush can be used to kind of brush your brows into place first. And then I take the pencil end of it. I go where my brow already is and I fill it in. I make it darker just in the area that it's already growing. You want it to look more thin, but filled in. So you see the difference between this one? This one just is more darker, more filled, compared to this one, which is still really light. It has a lot of almost patchiness to it that you don't really even notice until you do your brow. It just kind of helps fill out the, uh, the look in that regard there. I'm gonna brush this one down a little bit. Okay, so before we wrap up the makeup tutorial, you can totally leave off your makeup like this and be totally fine. I do have two more products that I like to use and I will show them to you here just so y'all know about them. And that is a highlighter and a tinted chapstick. So the chapstick here, my lips already have a generally nice color and I don't think I need them all the time, but especially if it's dry or you're in the winter or you want a little color, it's not totally different. You can see the bottom, see how red that is compared to my normal lip. And this is a regular chapstick with a little color added to it. So it's a very subtle way to add color to your lip. It's not too overwhelming. It doesn't look too out of place. It's not full blown lipstick, you know, and it helps make your lips obviously feel more hydrated as well, which is always a, a bonus. And then we have the highlighter here, which is kind of the opposite of contour. Contour was darkening some of those areas, right? Highlighter does the opposite. It helps bring some more light to some of those areas that you may want it. And this one is by Surreal Makeup. It's called Rainbow Road and I really like it. I think it's so cute. I don't know how well it'll come up on camera, but there are different shades in this palette here. I like to take a little dot of it and do two little patches in the corner of my eye. I like to do a little patch on the tip of my nose and I'll blend it out with a different finger. And then right here, I have a pretty deeply um, inset nose here, right? And typically feminine noses aren't that deep, but I like to put a little bit of highlighter there and when you're looking straight on, that highlighter kind of helps bring forward the nose a little bit, right? And then the last place I'm gonna put it is the cheeks here. So let me grab a little more. Just like that. And then I'm gonna blend it up. And there we go. And you can kind of see that rainbow sheen as well, which I think is so cute. And that is basically all I do for my makeup on a regular day. So on an average day, this is kind of what I would look like with my makeup. Now let me go ahead and stand up. So you can see the full look. This is very easy, very casual makeup to just, you know, make yourself look a little more feminine. Alrighty, so that is basically all I have for the tutorial itself. I do want to put a reminder out there that proper products to take off your makeup when you're done, you're going to have makeup wipes and you're going to have maybe an eye makeup remover. Again, you can just use wipes. That's totally fine. They also make face washes that have a makeup remover in them, which is very helpful. And remember that once you strip your face of all the makeup, it's not only going to be stripping off the makeup, it strips off a lot of oils and moisture from it as well. So remember, re-moisturize whenever you take off your makeup. It'll help your skin a lot in terms of just its natural health and how it takes to make up in the future. But yeah, I hope this tutorial was really helpful for y'all. If you'll have any more questions or comments or things y'all would like to learn more about, please, please, please leave them in the comments down below. If I see multiple of the same suggestion or, you know, people liking or commenting on one comment, I'll go back and I can make a video about it. And remember, I do have a Discord server that has a section where you can ask me questions and you can ask other people in the community questions. I also stream as well on Twitch so you can hop into my chat, say hello, ask any questions you have there. I'd be more than happy to answer questions for you. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I wish y'all the best of luck with y'all's makeup. If you want to tag me, I'd love to see what y'all come up with. I hope y'all have a beautiful rest of y'all's day. Love y'all.